Hello everyone, welcome back to Story Time with Josh. Today we are going to read I Am the Sun. Rebecca and James MacDonald. I Am the Sun. Rebecca and James MacDonald. I am the sun. I brighten your day and bring light to the dark. I look like a giant fiery ball burning bright in the sky. And actually a star, like some of the stars you, you see twinkling far off the night sky. Scientists call me Yellow Dwarf Star. Like other yellow dwarf stars, I was born in a cloud of gas and dust called a nubula. Not all nubulas grow stars, but for the nubula that do, they usually have many stars coming to life inside them. So I probably have sisters and, bro and brothers shining bright in our space. I'm the closest star to your planet, Earth, and because I'm so big, my gravity is really strong. Gravity is what holds all eight planets and their moons in place and keeps them circling around me. The planets, moons, asteroids, and space debris that I hold in my gravity makes up the solar system. Even though I'm round like planet Earth, I don't have a hard surface to land on. I'm mostly made up of two important gases called hydrogen and helium. Because I'm so big, I give off a lot of energy. My heat and light reach far into space. Planets close to me get too hot for larger life forms to live, like plants and anim like plants, animals, and people. Planets that are far away from me don't get enough of my heat and are too cold for things to grow. But your planet Earth is just close enough and far enough to get the perfect amount of my heat and life to grow all kinds of life. The plants on Earth use my energy as food, which helps create the air that all living things breathe. And, and when people and animals eat plants, guess whose energy makes it all? Possible? That's right. It's me, the sun. Even the water is affected by the energy I give off. I am also the reason that there are seasons on Earth. When Earth ends toward me, it's the growing season, summer and spring. When Earth leans away, it's a colder season, fall and winter. Without my light and energy, it would be dark and cold. I'm super important. But people and animals shouldn't look directly at me because my light and energy are so strong that it can damage your eyes. People should also protect their skin from too much of my light. When scientists study me, they use special filters and telescopes that protect your eyes. There are also satellites in space that watch me and send back information. I'm so big that even small sunspots on my surface can cause big bursts of energy. Sunspots are darker, cooler spots that move around or even disappear and then come back. Scientists use them to keep track of me. Sometimes my sunspots explode with energy that can shoot way out into space. If it's a big enough explosion, people on Earth see it as colorful lights in the night sky called an aura. Just remember, even on the cloudiest of days, I'm still shining bright way up high. You, you can count to me up to fill your days with warmth and light. Why it is so important to protect your eyes and skin from the sun. Sun. Why isn't there life on the plants closest to the sun? Why can't scientists land spaceships on rovers on the sun? Why do scientists like to watch and keep track of what's happening on the sun's surface? 
the end. So that is the end of the book, guys. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.